folks. Today we're going to talk about regular expressions basics. So regular expression or regex is an outstanding use of uh, this special little technology to modify, to manipulate text. Um, and like you're used to the idea of being able to do a, a find and replace. Here, let me take this off. A find and replace within SSMS. So you could absolutely say, okay, you know, uh, find every one of these dash dashes and make it a four dash or something like that, right? That's fine, but that's not going to get us all the way where we want to go, especially if we've got something like this, which is, oh my goodness, I've got a piece of code that's just all in one line. I absolutely despise that. Um, there are SQL prettifiers out there, but this isn't the only uh, application for this. So what I'm going to do is highlight this and go back so you can see the, the little cheat sheet I've got going here. We do a, when we do a find and replace, we can turn on regular expressions and say, okay, uh, I can search for something you know, very simple like uh, a comma. In this case, that's, that's what I want to, to search for. I want all of these on different lines, honestly. Uh, so what I'm going to do is say, okay, every time there's a comma within this selection, I've got selection here, I'm going to say, okay, instead do a new line and a tab and a comma. And I actually search for a comma space. So let me just take that off. All right, so search for just a comma and replace it with new line tab replace all. And that's really quite nice. I like that very much. Uh, another thing that you can actually do uh, is let's say one of the things I do very frequently is let's say I want a list of the um, columns in a table, right? Well, it's easy enough to do like SP help. Uh, what am I in right now? I could do collector dot the properties P E R T I E S. There we go. And okay, great. That'll get me a list of those. But if I want to pick and choose, if I want to do a select with just a few of those or a bunch of those. I'll grab all the column names, fair enough, uh, select from that, and just go ahead and paste that list. That's a lot. Um, well, I might not want to deal with all of that, so I might instead say, okay, uh, for every line break you see, yeah, make it into a tab and a comma space, and that way I can format that into a lovely selectable bit and just choose the columns that I want, right? And there's that. Um, a bunch of different things that you can do. I've had lots of scripts with uh, bunches of weird formatting issues that, that I can uh, use this on. Um, let's say you're looking for every time uh, create, oops, create, is at the beginning of a line. Well, it's easy enough to, let's do find, that's control F, uh, to use that little caret that means beginning of the line and create. And there you see it's, it's found that one thing. Similarly, uh, if you had a big long script and you were like, okay, uh, where is there, um, oh, I know, where is there a column that starts with the, the block comment and ends that same line with just the block comment? right? Uh, I can find these things individually. That's great. Uh, but let's do this. Here's the beginning of the line character. Here's the end of the line character. And we know there's going to be some text in the middle. Well, any character, zero or more of those, that's what we're looking for, right? So we say, okay, we want something that has start of the line. Oh, and we must have some reserved characters in here or something. Hmm? No? All right, hold on, let's test. That's the great thing about regex is getting to play with it. Okay, so beginning of the line. Cool, cool, cool. I want this. Oh, uh, yeah, I've, I found it, but I need to escape that star because, again, that star, that's, it's kind of like a reserved keyword in SQL. Um, that's a regular expression, so you got to do a little escape beforehand. All right, so, so far this reads uh, beginning of line, forward slash, an actual asterisk, and then some number of characters after that. I better go ahead and put in an example of what we're looking for so we can see that it gets found. This is an example of what we're, I misspelled it, it's fine, looking for. There we go. Right now, it's getting all of that. 
but it's also selecting our little start of character up here, our little start of comment up here. And that's that's not what I want. I want one that starts with the block comment and that also ends with the block comment on the same line. And we had to escape that character. There we go, now we've got it. You could even, if you wanted to, uh, say, okay, it specifically has to be start of the comment at the beginning of the line, end of the comment right at the end of the line. Oh, what's going on here? How come that didn't work? I actually don't know. Regex is fun, y'all. But building up these complicated things, it, it, it's just like building a store procedure. You know, it, you do it piece by piece. It takes a little bit of time. Um, another thing I want to show you, last thing I want to show you, is searching for groups of characters. So let's say that you're looking throughout your script anywhere that you've got a number, any kind of numeral. Uh, we better have something in there that we can find. There we go. So these brackets mean, okay, show me anywhere that any of these characters show up. And you can just stack these. So we've got 0 through 9. We could also add A through Z and a space and a dot and a comma. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, this lets you do all kinds of interesting things. If I wanted to, I could do a, a replace all, and I'm just going to erase almost everything in my script. Thank God for control Z. Um, but yeah, take a look at uh, these different things. Um, I will go ahead and put in the slash N for new line. Although again, some of these things are fidgety. Slash T for tab. So if you wanted to just indent that, uh, that comment down there, then I would say, okay, here's the start of that comment. And down here, I'm going to say slash tab. And then for some reason down here, you don't have to escape that character. You can just say, go for it. And we did a replace all. And it put a tab in place here. And I don't, didn't specify. I only specified the start of it. So put it here too. But yeah, regular expressions. Mess around with um, code. Have a lot of fun. Oh, oh, just one more. Just one more. Because I like this. What we can do also... is change statements. Um, I'm not going to say willy-nilly, but uh, select star from my table, select star from my table too. Um, here we can do select star from, and you'd be able to find that without the help of any regular expressions. But what if they've got actual, you know, stuff in here? I want to get rid of all of this and just do update my table, update this. This is part, for me, this is part of mm, not automating, but quasi-automating your own um, development efforts, your own code. So again, what I would look for is a select, cool, 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 um, some number of characters after that, from. And that's not going to include the my table. It's just saying, okay, select in a space and a bunch of characters followed by a from. Going to replace all that with an update. Ta-da. In this simple example, it's not a big deal, but with big complex queries, it can be quite cool. And that's what I've got for today. Let's go ahead and, there we go. Category completion. Later. <laughs>